name is Dr. Rita Scully and I'm a lecturer at Limerick Institute of Technology in Ireland. This video is on probability. I will introduce and explain probability and how to use it and I will show how to apply probability in real world examples. What you know. To help you understand probability, it would help to review some information on fractions and also some information on decimals. You should also know what a formula is. A formula is a concise way of expressing information symbolically. Keywords. There are some keywords that will be used in this video on probability. Probability is the study of how likely something is to happen. Experiment. This is the repeatable procedure or event with a set of possible results. Outcome. This is is the possible result of an experiment. Sample space. These are all the possible outcomes of an experiment. Sample point. This is just one of the possible outcomes of an experiment. The sample space is made up of all the sample points. Event. This is just one or more outcomes of an experiment. Whenever we are unsure about the outcome of an event, we talk about the probability of certain outcomes, how likely they are to occur. Probability is the numerical description of how likely something is to occur or how likely the suggestion is true. Probability works on a scale of 0 to 1. 0, the event cannot occur under any conditions. 1, the event is certain to occur. Probability can be shown on the probability line. Probability does not tell us exactly what will occur. It is just a guide. Let's use some of our key words. Experiment, to toss a coin. Outcome, getting a heads. Sample space is heads or tails. Sample point, getting a heads or tails. Event, to toss a head. This is written as 1 over 2. One chance of getting a head. Two possible outcomes, heads or tails. This could also be referred to as 0 0.5 or 50%. It's often referred to as an even chance. The formula for probability is the event is equal to the number of ways an event can occur over the number of possible outcomes. Can you think of examples of where we can use probability? Let's consider a six-sided dice. Each number has an equal probability of appearing when the dice is thrown. Let's consider the probability of throwing a four. We can write this as the event throwing a 4, 
equals one way of the event occurring, the four. Six possible outcomes, one to six on the each side of the dice. The probability of throwing a four is one over six, or 0 0.16 recurring. This can be represented on the probability line as 0 0.16. Now let's look at the probability of throwing an odd number. Again we have our six-sided dice. The probability of throwing an odd number can occur in three ways. One, three, or five. There are six possible outcomes. This can be written as three over six, or one over two, or zero point five. This can be represented on the probability of line as zero point five. Probability can also assess the risk of something not occurring. Let's look at the probability of not throwing a three. Again, we're considering our six-sided dice. The probability of not throwing a three can occur in five events. One, two, four, five, or six. And there are six possible outcomes. So this can be written as five over six or zero point eight three. This can be represented on the probability line of zero point eight three. Can you think of some more examples of where we can use probability? Probability is used in everyday life in risk assessment and modeling the potential of risks or events occurring. The insurance industry and financial markets use probability in determining the risk level of an event. What you have learned. Probability is the study of how likely something is to happen. Probability works on a scale of 0 to 1. 0, the event cannot occur under any circumstances. 1, the event is certain to occur. Probability can be shown on the probability line of 0 to 1.